What up world, it's your boy. Mm, back at it again with another Q&A with Noel Yulo, with me, Noel Yulo. So I'm back once more with another Q&A video in which I'll be answering any questions anything under the sun and on my last video I actually left a link on the description in which anyone could just drop a question there randomly so I'm about to check all the questions that were asked on me through that Google form link and as of now I only have four <laughs> I'm not really that surprised because you know not really like a very famous person or a youtuber or a social media personality but you know I just made that form just in case a lot of people will be asking me a lot of questions in the future so anyways it doesn't matter I'm still gonna answer them so let's get to all of these questions all right first question here do you think you will succeed with this endeavor now I'm not totally sure what endeavor uh, this person is actually um, trying to ask about but uh, if it's about me you know being in social media being a youtuber and all if I think I'm gonna be successful yeah I think I'll be successful as long as I keep on pushing my dream as long as I keep on doing this the only way this is not gonna work is if I stop and I, I understand there are times in which I get busy I don't end up really putting up any videos and all but as long as I keep on doing it I think I'll be fine I think I'll be successful uh, at some point one way or another but at the same time you know I'm already in a point in my life where I I'm happy that I was able to start this that I was able to do this and if I actually don't end up being successful with this endeavor then yeah I I'm really good with it as long as I still try to do what I really want to do and that is to entertain people and if I'm able to achieve that even if I don't become famous and all, then what the heck. That's already a little bit of success for me and yeah, I'm actually good with that. All right, second question. How much did you love Dorothy Ko and Michelle Ober? Hmm. All right, first things foremost, I just really want to say I hope those two aren't watching this video. And if you know those two, you just don't tell them. Um, not that I don't really want to talk about that because it's been a long time ago, but uh, yeah, at one point in my life, I actually fell in love with those two. Um, just to give you guys a background, um, Michelle was my classmate second year and third year college, whereas Dorothy or Doc was my classmate uh, fourth year college. So if you're going to ask me if I love them, yeah, I, I did love them. How much I love them though, um, really, really, really love them up there. But um, right now, I know that um, they're happy with their lives and they made the best decision by saying no to me <laughs> or, you know, just ignoring my advances and whatnot. Again, it was a very long time ago and I, I look at it in a, very, in a very great way because I feel like even though I got, you know, I got rejected that time, I got my heart broken, um, I, I learned a lesson. Um, after you know everything if you're gonna ask me what are those lessons um, for for Michelle um, uh, What was the lesson I learned the, the lesson I learned is that if you actually like someone you should really go all out You know don't don't pretend that you don't like the person um, For for dot what, what lesson did I learn with that? So based from the lesson I learned from Michelle um, That's where I, I was like showing my true um, uh, affection and all that, but at the same time, I, I was, I was a little bit shy when it come when it came to Dot. Like, um, a lot of people knew that I had a crush on her. I think she also knew that I had a crush on her. But my approach was always like secretive, like you know, I'm just in the shadows. And that was a lesson that I learned there is that if you like someone on top of you having to show your clear intentions, you should also be a little bit confident because. I, I think one of the things that girl likes is confidence from a guy. Not too much confidence though, because that's already arrogance, but confidence enough that you are not actually shy and you actually are able to manage the situation. That's it, those two for me are, are still special. Um, you know, I, 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 I try to interact with them in a way, but at best, you know, I just leave a like on their pictures. You know, I'm happy uh, with where they are right now and uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Alright, next question. Who were your crush 
crushes in college? That's a very, very difficult question because I had a lot of crushes back in college. Um, it'll probably take me a while to even remember who they were, but um, I guess I would rather explain the different types of crushes that I have. Alright, so first level is the physical trait crush in which those are the girls that I have a crush with based from their physical trait. So normally if I find a girl beautiful or pretty, then there's a huge chance that I actually have a crush on them. Now of course, not all pretty or beautiful girls out there I immediately have a crush on, but that's somewhat like the first layer. Like there's there's a lot of possibility that you know I could fall for them, but then again, you know, it's just right there. Like, I, I, I have a crush on you because you're pretty. Pretty much that's it. Second level is what I call already the... It's the right term for this one. Um, all right, so I'm calling it the MU level crush in which um, I'm already past beyond the I find you beautiful. So now it's more of a, I also know that you're a good, kind-hearted person. I know your personality. That's what I consider you as my MU uh, crush meaning that um, I kind of really like you already but not yet to the point where I love you which leads me to the third level which is the I really have fallen for you crush so obviously these are the girls that I have fallen in love with I find them pretty I like their personality and now I, I've just fallen in love with them obviously there are a lot of girls on the first level of crush the physical trait there were some that was able to go to the MU level type of crush in which I felt that you know I could have been in a relationship with them if it went further and of course those are there are the only that's what I call it the five chapters of my life that I actually ended up on the I already have fallen in love with you level and uh, as you may have guessed it they all have rejected me in some form or fashion uh, yes I, I still believe that they made the right decision there but those are my three levels of crush yeah I, I can't I had a lot of crushes back in college okay so last question who were the great influences in your life who helped you became who you are now uh, that's really a great way to end this Q&A video but um, I guess um, the best person that I could say that really has inspired me the most and there's actually a lot but the most one is my dad um, this might sound cheesy coming from uh, from his emotional son my, my dad isn't really much of an emotional guy knowing my dad how he grew up how he was as a father he is very hard working he's hands-on he knows a lot of things and I, I think I got the knack of fixing things by myself from him like if if I relay on someone to do it um, and they can't do it then I end up doing it work ethics that's that's pretty much what I got from him because my dad I, I, I I've never seen my dad being lazy and I, I guess in a lot of ways I, I, I thank him for you know being that guy that has inspired me to work hard in life because he's the one that really have taught me that if you want to achieve a lot you gotta work for it of course um, there's also other people that have inspired me my business side my business savvy side I don't know if people ever saw me as a business savvy side but I got that from Triple H right now he's no longer an active wrestler he's more of a CEO he's a corporate dude now in the WWE and pretty much the way he speaks the, the way he the way he uh, associates himself to other people that's pretty much how I am now as a manager so you can only imagine at work whenever I walk I walk like this you know I look like I'm about to fight someone but pretty much that's it that's my way of thinking because um, I, I was an agent before I was a trainer before so the way I connect with people is trying to share to them the experience that I have which is what Triple H normally does these days uh, that's how he helps out young wrestlers by sharing his experience with them the last person that I could really say that has inspired me the most the guy that I really patterned myself as an entertainer pretty much the guy that somewhat influenced me to start doing videos like this is The Rock Dwayne Johnson he's pretty much my role model I could say and um, the thing about The Rock is that pretty much everything that I want to be 
it's already him you know he has a great body great physique um he's pretty much athletic um he's able to act he's able to entertain a lot of people and that's where i want to be and the way i talk sometimes the way i try to entertain or try to joke i, I pretty much got it from him my pretty much biggest role model is the rock but at the same time my biggest influence in life is my dad so that's pretty much it and that's it for this Q&A video the link to the Google form is still in the description so if you want to ask me questions go ahead feel free to do so and I will answer them if you want to ask me straight up on the comment section feel free to do so or even you can drop me a message and uh, yeah anywhere as long as i can read them i will answer them so if you enjoyed this video i would appreciate if you would leave a like share like my facebook page or subscribe to my youtube channel again thank you so much for everyone who's watching my videos thanks so much for the views and the support again my name is noel peace out